The first topic I want to cover is obviously the difference between development management and construction management. So if you could kind of go into that for yeah. the layman out there that think maybe right. it might be one and the same, or they're not very sure uh, on, on what it is. Awesome. Yes. Thank you for that. That's a, that's a great leading question based on what I do, actually. Um, I think there is a difference. Uh, mm -hmm. Development management services to me, and the reason I I went down that path. My goal when I started my company mm -hmm. was to work on very few projects mm -hmm. so I could really be intimately immersed in them as a development management consultant. And to me, that means from just from the concept through delivery mm -hmm. and those important phases of entitlements and pre-construction activity, construction activity, closeout, integrating all the different um, consultants, integrating, uh, working just you know with the jurisdictions, uh, doing the underwriting, you know, basically trying to create um, that pro forma, so the so that that owner knows that we're either going to go through entitlements and then maybe brought, bring in some equity, maybe we're going to do it ourselves. What's the financial markets? All those different things. Construction managers, um, 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 owner reps, mm -hmm. as they're also called as well. Mm -hmm. Look, I have worked with and learned from, I think, some of the best in the industry. Mm -hmm. And I could sit here and rattle off four of them that are in this market uh, right now that I consider friends and colleagues and ones uh, that I still call on a regular basis when I find something. Look, we're all not perfect. We all can learn something new every day. As a matter of fact, I think that's the best part of this industry right. because our industry changes the planet. Right. And I think that's what people need to consider. Mm -hmm. And also, it's something grounded just in my experience and education, really, as a, as you can see from my background, I'm an institutional corporate real estate guy. Yeah. I'm a real estate developer that's worked for big funds, with big funds, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And with that, you always want to hire the best person you can mm -hmm. for the specific goal or you know, matter at hand. Mm -hmm. Um, and there are times on really large projects or, you know, whatever the circumstances are, there are people who just come in about when the drawings are maybe at design development level, mm -hmm. schematic design development, contract documents, implementation. Mm -hmm. So someone who comes in when the drawings are maybe 50 or 100 percent design development, uh, they can get in, they can start doing some last minute minutia and moving things around, iron out the systems, really work with the engineers make sure everything's coordinated and they set the table for the construction process mm -hmm. and where they just have phenomenal experience, et cetera. Um, look, I am a licensed architect. <laughs> I have been doing this for 20 plus years. I was yeah. first on a job site building as a grunt laborer when I was 17. Um, so I'm almost 55. I've got some, I've got some, you know, track. I don't need to see what concrete looks like. I know basically exactly. what it is. You know, um, and, and I think it's also an approach I'm very, uh, I put a lot of emphasis in teamwork. Mm -hmm. So it's really starting with that, just being able to be involved from day one, mm -hmm. all the way through and bring all the, the design, the construction, the banking, all the finance, all of my background, mm -hmm. it's just a little more holistic. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really for me, when you look down the task list, you know, I just, you know, it's how many boxes do you check? And I'm not about to say that some of the construction consultants that I know could not do and can certainly do what I do. They typically just don't. Yeah, they typically right. get involved when you're, right. you're at the end of the drawings, you're going for permits, you got to work with utilities, you got to get the GMP under contract and start implementing the work. Right. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm on way before that. And so all that, the way in marketing, property management, all the things that, you know, not, it's not that they can't, it's just that it's not their typical bailiwick. So that's, that's my real delta.